Hello friends, in this video I want to show you the eager loading for specific columns. Here I have a project and I have displayed here the poles. I have 100 poles and here I displayed only 15 and also I displayed the user because the posts belong to the user and in this case the posts, all the posts belong to the same user. Now I have installed the Laravel debug bar which help us to see the performance of our a project, for example, for the queries, uh, for the memory usage, and also request duration, which is most common used. But we have uh, views, messages, time exemption, and so on. Now, in this case, we have, uh, as we can see here, we have, uh, let's, yeah, we have 17 queries and also 30 models. And we can see select all from users where the user ID is limit is with one and limit one. And we can fix that if I open the VS Code. Here is the query on the web routes. So post people with post query latest and paginate, and add the post here. Then on the welcome page, I just make a for each post as a post and display the user name in here and then the post title and also the post links down there on the post model i just added the user belong to method and here we have now if i want to fix the number of queries we can say on the web php post query and let's say with and pass here the relation which in our case is this user so the user method relation and let's say with user now if i say this and let's open the browser yeah right now we have 17 queries and 30 models if i refresh now we have only three queries and 60 models good as we can see here, we have select all from post or the by created at desk and limit 15. OK. We need here only the post title and also the user name. So we don't need all from post, we need only the title. But in my case, because I have only the title in the post, it's OK. But if you have more than the title, you just can say select only the ID and the title. For the users also, here I have select all from users and we want only the name, not all the fields. For that, let's open the VS Code and instead of something like this, I'm going to change this. I'm going to add an array and let's say here, user relation and add a callback function, passing the query here which is automatically added. And now I'm going to say query, select, and what columns we want. So select, we want only the name. If I say like this and say, it, come here and refresh, yeah, we have attempt to read property name on null, because here the query expects also the ID, so the user ID relation for this post. So we need to add also the ID in case to work this. So if I save now and come here, as you can see, now we have select only the ID and name from users, not all the fields. And this is more, uh, it's working and I think is more performance. In this case, it's not uh, that much change, but if you have large uh, data, this is the best way. Now, this is okay, but also we can short this one. So instead of adding the user and the callback, we can add, if you go to the Laravel documentation and search for the eager loading, you can see the eager loading for specific columns and just say 
the name of the relation and the columns here. So in this case, it's ID name handbook ID. In our case, so let's say with user colon ID, we need the ID, as I said, because if we don't have the ID, it's not working. So let's just say here, the name is the same as we had before. So if I refresh, yeah, we need also in this case to add the ID here. And now, yeah, we have the selected the ID and name from users where user ID in one. And I think it's very good. And this is a, a tip performance, how we can use the width for specific column. And I highly recommend to add the Laravel debug bar in your project when you're building that. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thanks.